Hey everybody, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Happy Monday. Today is really the first day of the year. If the first is on Sunday, it don't count. So, Happy New Year. It's 2023. It's time to do all that stuff we just talked about in my last video. It's time to start today. So, I hope y'all ready. Hope y'all prepared. Hope y'all had a good New Year's Eve. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw our night. We just went out, had a little, you know, a little one, two. <laughs> So we are locked and loaded, ready for 2023. I'm ready. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready. I'm locked in. Today is like my first, first real start of the day. Yesterday was like a, it's Sunday. You know it's God's day. We ain't supposed to do nothing. <laughs> and to start off our year, y'all, we are on another trip. Today we are going to the Philippines. If you're from the Philippines, drop a comment. If you've been to the Philippines, drop a comment. If you haven't. We about to try this stuff together. This is another treat box from Try Treats. I'm gonna put everything in the description. Um, if you use my code again, you can get 15% off your first box. Make sure you try it. Last month we did Italy, now we're doing the Philippines. Can't wait to see what they have and can't wait to see what's in here today, y'all. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So y'all know it comes with the postcard with the fun facts and the recipe on it and all that good stuff. Let's see. Um, this recipe is for a sizzling pork sisig. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna make that, but it's probably good. If you like sizzling pork sisig, let me know and I will send you this recipe, I promise. <laughs> Fun facts about the Philippines. Their official language is Filipino and English. Their capital is Manila. 52 million people in the Philippines speak English making it the fifth largest English-speaking nation behind the U.S., India, Pakistan, and the U.K. Wait, Pakistan? I didn't even know that they speak English like that. And India. So that's cool. I love these. Y'all know me. I love a fun fact. Of the top 10 largest shopping malls in the world, three of them are found in the Philippines. So if you like to shop, go to the Philippines. The Philippines is the world's leading producer of coconuts, having produced 19.5 million tons of the fruit in 2010. 2010? We in 2023, so I need to know some updated numbers. But that's cool. If you like coconuts, if you like sizzling pork sisig, if you like um, shopping, it's sounding like the Philippines is for you. Maybe the food is going to be for me because none of that really is for me so far. <laughs> But the food is a whole nother story. So here's the Philippines flag. And we're gonna open our box. So this is our box this month, y'all. Looks like some um, golden sweet corn. Some Filipino cheese balls. Prawn crackers, oh. We gotta see about those. And a bunch of little stuff, y'all know how we do. We love the treat boxes. So let's get started on trying them. It's looking like a lot of chips and, and stuff, y'all. I should have made me a little sandwich or something to go with it, but it's all good. Let's try these cheese balls first. Because I like Cheetos. They bags don't open like ours, I guess. These are good and let me tell you why there's flavor in every single bite like and i don't mean a bite like a ball i mean a bite like every time the top of my teeth touch the bottom of my teeth new flavor it's a lot of cheese but it's really good like you know how cheetos be having like they be having flavor but it's sometimes to be like man where is the flavor like where is the flavor you can't say that with these and look it comes with eight thousand cheese balls in a bag can't go wrong there so First one, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. And I'm going to have those for lunch today because those was good. Okay, oh, okay, so this is another flavor, y'all. So that was the cheese ball flavor. This is the sweet corn ball flavor. I mean, y'all, look at, look, just look. You can see the seasoning. 
So you know I'm not lying about the flavor. It's seasoning everywhere. Even on my pants now. <laughs> sweet corn flavor. If this is gonna taste like the sweet cream corn, like I really love sweet cream corn, but like I don't know if I would like it as a as a ball, you know? Y'all, it's not nasty. It's not nasty. It's just exactly what I just said out of my mouth right before I put it in my mouth. If you like sweet creamed corn, like in a can or made from scratch, the real way to do it, that's exactly what it tastes like. That corn, I love that corn. I love sweet cream corn, but I don't know. I'm like a texture person, so to taste that taste, but it to be a little crunchy ball, I don't think I like that. It's not nasty though. It's good. It tastes like sweet cream corn. It's the texture for me because, you know, corn and a cheese ball is two completely different textures. So if you can get the texture thing out of your head, I think you would like them. If you like sweet cream corn, it tastes just like it. Just, just like it, but in a cheese ball form. I'm going to stick with the cheese balls and I'm going to let y'all have the sweet corn balls. So I'm going to make my two little piles for my yeses and my not necessarily i'll put hard nose somewhere else but sweet corn balls i'm gonna just say not necessarily for me and i didn't bring nothing to drink <laughs> this time before i get into the prawn crackers i gotta switch up the taste in my mouth i think this is called pinkies goodies green mango butterscotch bar so there it is let's open it and look y'all, by the way, my nails are still done. Don't play, they chipping a little bit. If you look close, they chipping a little bit, but they still done. Hmm, <laughs> looks interesting. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm big on like looks and textures and this ain't looking or feeling too good, but it sounds like it would be good. Mango and butterscotch, like I love mango. I love butterscotch, but I don't know how they came up with this. Oh, hold on now. Okay, y'all, looks can be deceiving because it's actually pretty good. I'm not just going like, ah. I can't do that still, but the but the little, these that I'm getting, it's good. It almost tastes like a, like a cake, like a mango butterscotchy flavored, like a mango flavored cake with butterscotch icing. I would give it that. It's a little cake mixed with something else, and that's why I can't just bite into it, but it's good. And I'm going to keep like nibbling on it. Like, I will finish this. It's going to take me a while, but I'm going to finish this. It's good. I'm going to put this with the yeses. This is the green mango butterscotch bar. So shout out to you, Pinky. <clears throat> Do y'all know Pinky as in um, slutty vegan Pinky? She is my idol, y'all. I just watch every day. She's doing something new every day. It's just adding to her empire. I love it. I love her. That is one of my idols. One of my girls that I watch every day to be like, damn, I want to be like that. Pinky Cole, look her up if you don't know her. Slutty Vegan. Um, this is next. Hansel Mocha Sandwich Cream Filled Biscuits. Similar to like an Oreo cookie, like that kind of cookie. Oh, wait, well, I said that because it's like two and then cream in the middle. But it's given. Is Mocha coffee? Mocha latte. Mocha might be coffee like espresso and if it is i'm not going to like this because fun fact i hate coffee hate it i'm gonna try this but if mocha is giving coffee i already know i'm not gonna like it but if you like coffee it's for you yeah um if you like coffee that is <laughs> for you Philippines, I don't know. I love y'all as a whole in general. I love y'all cheese balls. I enjoyed y'all green mango butterscotch bar. 
But the sweet corn balls and the um, mocha sandwich biscuits, it's just not for me. I might as well get these out the way. I've been procrastinating. I just told y'all I'm a procrastinator. I've been, I do not want to try these. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to. Because that's what we're doing. And I enjoy trying them. And at least, like, you know, I like being cultured, saying that I try certain things. But I just don't know about a prawn cracker, y'all. I just don't know. What even is a prawn? Like, is that a shrimp or a crawfish? Because it looks like if a shrimp and a crawfish had a baby. And if that's what it is, I don't want to try it. <laughs> Oh, uh-uh. I'm not trying these, y'all. Mm-mm. I'm not trying these. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. Get somebody else. Get somebody else to do it. These smell like fish. I am disgusted. I wish that I could make y'all smell it through the camera. These smell like fish. I'm not trying these. If you enjoy prawns, if you're a prawn lover out there, if you um enjoy turning your chips into, like, I mean, your food food into, like, chips, then I would say go for it and you should try prawn crackers. But I'm not trying them. Ooh. Okay, you know what it smells like? You know when you get like a fish and you have they like fish food, the little flakes? That's what it smells like. And I'm sorry, I don't want to be offending nobody. If I'm offending somebody, I'm not trying to offend you. I love the Philippines. I love y'all. Just prawn crackers are not for me. That's all. Next. Woo, they might have to go in the other room. Okay. <laughs> Sky Flakes Crackers. I see a little sign on here that says contains soy. Oh, no, no, no. Contains wheat and coconut processed on the same equipment which has handled soy. So, another fun fact about me. I'm actually allergic to soy. But, um, like, I won't, like, pass out or die or nothing like that. I just... Like my mouth will start itching my throat will get start to feel like a little swollen like it's not hard to breathe but you know how you can just kind of tell like i'm not breathing clear like it's getting swollen a little bit now yeah if i drink silk milk or if i eat any kind of little soy bar or something like that that will happen to me so i've seen that it contains soy but i mean no it doesn't contain soy it was made with the same stuff as soy but i'm still gonna try it because even if it had soy in it i was still gonna try it because it's not that bad my allergic reaction is just it's a little uncomfortable or annoying for a minute, but if it's soy in any of these Philippine snacks, we're going to try it because I'm down for the cause. I wonder if these are the crackers that they give, like, on a plane. Like, you know how Delta has Biscoff cookies? My favorite cookies in the world. The only hard cookies that I like. Biscoff cookies. Delta. I wonder if these are, like, their airline crackers. Mmm. It, it tastes like a saltine cracker, but I like saltine crackers. I could eat these. Give me a little peanut butter or a little slice of cheese or something. Or a little tuna. I'm going to fuck these up. Oops, sorry. I'm going to mess these up. I like these. See, I like plain stuff. Like, I don't need prawn flavored crackers. I just need regular, regular Sky Flakes crackers. This is going in the yes pile. So far, we have three for yes and three for no. And we have one, two, three, four. We have four more things to try. And we have three for yes, three for no so far. Dolcelto wafer rolls. No high fructose corn syrup. You know, America is real big on giving us unhealthy stuff and a whole bunch of stuff that's going to kill us. <laughs> So I like out the country stuff because it's made with less preservatives, less all that unhealthy stuff. And, you know, it's just better for us. Tends to be at least. It tends to be a lot better for us. America don't care what they're feeding us as long as they're making their money. And I hope that y'all know that. That's why I don't eat meat no more, y'all. It's not like I'm not no like health freak like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight. And and so I'm going to stop eating meat and, uh, da, da, and I'm just going to eat vegetables all day. It's not that, y'all. Like, yes, it helps that. But it's not that. It's just, it grosses me out. Like, we're not eating chicken no more. Ain't that many chickens in the world. For how many chickens Americans eat every day, it's not that many chickens being born every day. You can't tell me otherwise. Same for cows. 
bacon, I mean pigs, all of that. I ain't eating that because it ain't real. They put too much in it and all they care about is making their money. And then they make us sick because then we got to turn around and buy medicine. And the pharmaceutical business is the biggest business in the world. But let me shut up before they come get me. <laughs> let me shut up. The older that I get, I just be paying attention, y'all. But let me shut up before they come get me. And let's get back to these delicious chocolate wafer rolls from the Philippines. No high fructose corn syrup. Healthy. This is what it looks like. Amazing. This is amazing. I'm amazing. This would be perfect. Like, I don't know if I had a little drink to like swirl it around in. Like milk or maybe hot chocolate. Y'all know I'm not a big hot chocolate fan, but that hot chocolate that we had at the cabin was really good. So maybe that hot chocolate, but something, some kind of drink, stir this in, mix it in with, amazing. I like this. I like this a lot. The next one, y'all, is Boy Bawang Cornic. Lechon Manok flavor. Okay, clearly the bag is in a different language, but... The picture on the bag has a picture of chicken wings on a stick and these little ball things. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't even eat wings, wings like in real life. Like... Even when I did eat meat, I didn't eat wings. I didn't eat nothing with a bone in it. So I didn't even eat wings in real life. Boneless wings. So we're going to see. I'm not going to make the same mistake and use my teeth to open it like with the prawn crackers because that smell busted out into my face and I could have passed out and died. But one thing about Philippine packaging is A1. No air is getting into your snacks. No stale snacks. Okay, so I guess these little ball things that were on the picture are just chicken wing flavored. Because this is what it looks like. <sighs> Y'all. They're good. False alarm. It's like when I licked it at first, I tasted wing, like chicken wings, so I was a little nervous. But when I ate it and crunched on it, I don't know. It's like I still get chicken wing, but like not nasty chicken wing. Like it, it doesn't taste like I'm eating chips as food, if you know what I mean, or food as chips. It tastes like whatever the flavor is with this crunch is good. That was a good surprise because I was worried, but these were good. I would keep eating these. These were the Boy Bawang Cornic Lechon Manuk flavored little balls. This one is called Jacobina. It doesn't have a description on the front, so we're just going to open it and see what it is. Product of the Philippines. Okay, it's like a little stack of little like square crackers. Oh, I like this. I would say it's similar to like the cracker that I like, the plain cracker, but like a sweet version, like a cookie version almost. Like it's really good. It's plain, which I love, but it's good. I would definitely keep eating these. I would, if I seen them out, um, pick it up and you're good. Put these with the yeses. And we're on our last one, y'all. But I saved what I think will be my favorite for last. Let's see what the Philippine treat truck is hitting on. Luscious strawberry flavor wrapped in a light, delectable sponge cake. This is it, y'all. 
Philippine tree truck. It's probably supposed to be like this, but it's very dry. The flavor is good. But, damn, I need some milk. The flavor is really good, y'all. That strawberry is hitting, can't lie. It's just a little dry. But it's probably supposed to be like that. That's probably the American in me. Like, why do we need everything to be so moist? That's probably where all the unhealthy stuff is. So, I will finish this and I would get it again and I would keep eating it because it is good. I'm going to put this in my yes pile. So, y'all, with the yeses, we have strawberry cake, boy bowing, cornic, the, the chicken wing poppers, the wafer rolls, the chocolate wafer rolls, the Jacobinas, the Sky Flakes crackers. Definitely about to go get me some peanut butter to probably eat those now. The Pinkies goodies, the green mango butterscotch bar. Y'all remember that? That was a yes. And the first one, our cheese balls. Definitely a yes. For the, okay, I forgot I said I do not necessarily in hard notes. So for the not necessarily, I'll say the sweet corn balls. The mocha sandwich, only because I'm just not a coffee, like mocha, espresso, lattes, any of those. It's, it's not my thing. So that's a not necessarily for me just because of that. If you like coffee, this is for you. You'll love it. Only hard no and it's a very hard no, hard like AP calculus no, is the prawn crackers. They can't even be near me, they stink. I can't try them, they stink. These are hard no. Like they're going, they gotta get out of here. Those are hard no. Everything else, love it or like it, or maybe it's not for me, but I can tell like if you like that flavor, you will love it. Please, y'all, don't forget, I'm going to put everything in the description below. If you want to try these boxes, they are amazing. They're great. You get to try something from a different country every month. I like it because I like to try different things. Um, well, kind of. I like to try different things from different cultures. So I like to, you know, see what they got going on, see they snacks, see how it compares to ours. Because, you know, over here, I might eat me a little barbecue Pringle or something. So I like to see what they get in other places. You know, I really enjoyed this. I hope I have another box from another country for y'all to try next month. Um, these are really cool, really good. Happy New Year. It's a new start. It's raining out of nowhere, which is crazy, but that's all good. We still going to tackle our goals and get into this year. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, y'all, that was Try Treats. Make sure, again, you get your treat box. They are amazing. They are really cool to do with your family, with your friends, or even just with yourself. Y'all see, I do it with y'all. You know what I mean? I see her by myself, but I do it with y'all. It's amazing. It's cool. It's fun to do. Trytreats.com, and if you use my code, it's my life as Jade, you get 15% off your first box. Yeah, y'all, so now it is time for me to... Um, go to the gym like i promised y'all it's in my new year resolution so i'm about to go to the gym i think even though it's raining with the free um i'm about to go to the gym y'all so like comment share subscribe click the bell notification so you can be notified every time i drop every time we go to a different country you will be front row with me first class on that delta flight baby let's go we are traveling the world in 2023 love y'all